Hey, what's up YouTube? What's going on? Just wanted to make a quick little video because there was some interesting news that came out of the NHL today and it was from the Dallas Stars regarding one of their players, Martin Hansel. So for those of you guys that don't know who Martin Hansel is, he is a center who plays for the Dallas Stars and he stands about six foot six, and he's a pretty good player. And his whole career has been plagued by lower back troubles. At 21 years old, he had surgery for a herniated disc when he was playing with the Arizona Coyotes. Uh, 2015, I believe he had an additional surgery, and now he's undergoing a spinal fusion surgery, which was reported from the Dallas Stars general manager today, and he'll be out six to seven months. So this season has been just a disaster for him. And Jim Nell, who's the general manager of the Dallas Stars, was quoted today with saying that he had three epidural injections this season to basically get rid of the pain, and he was basically playing while he was in pain, but he had these epidural injections to basically block the pain, and then it came to the point where he wasn't able to handle it anymore, and now he's opted for a spinal fusion surgery. So, this is terrible news for Martin Hansel. Terrible to see because this, this guy has undergone a lot of lower back troubles, and now he's undergoing a fusion, and his back troubles started when he was 21 years old and he had surgery for a herniated disc. I don't know any of the specifics regarding the type of surgeries that he had, but I know that he is having a fusion now. And with regards to a fusion, this is a very, very serious surgery. And if you ever see a, a fusion being performed, now there are different types of fusions, but it's almost like something out of a horror movie. And the success rate doesn't seem to be very high. Now I just recently did a video talking about NHL players and their return to the NHL after sustaining a lumbar disc herniation. And in that study, there were eight people or eight NHL players that had a spinal fusion. And interestingly, all eight of them were able to successfully return to the NHL. Now, however, when you look to other sports, the success rates haven't been as high. The thing with a spinal fusion, now depending on the spinal fusion that is being performed, is that usually they will remove part of a disc or maybe completely remove the whole disc and they will fuse the vertebrae together. So if I were to take my disc model right here, Think about removing this disc and then fusing the vertebrae together. So if you were to fuse the vertebrae together, what would end up happening is that the adjacent segments now may take more of a beating. So the above and below segments may take more of a beating. And the reason being is because that shock absorber, the disc is not there anymore, or at least part of it has been removed. So the mechanical loading through the spine is going to be altered and changed so your above and below discs may take more stress now. Same with the facet joints at the adjacent segment. They may take more stress now and they, be more, they may be more prone to developing arthritis in the future. And that's not something that is ideal, especially considering a fusion like that. Very serious surgery. But anyways, just wanted to quickly talk about that. And it'll be interesting to see what happens with Martin Hansel here moving forward and if he's able to successfully return back to the NHL, and if so, what will his performance be like, and what will his career span be? Anyways, just wanted to quickly make that as an update video, just a little bit, just wanted to share that because that was news out of the NHL today, and I thought it was very interesting because it was regarding a pretty good hockey player, at least that I consider, in Martin Hansel, and just will be interesting to see how things move forward for him in the future, and do wish him all the best. I hope he is able to successfully return and get back to playing at a high level because the guy's career has just been plagued with lower back troubles and hopefully there could be some positive and he's able to maybe manage things appropriately and just get back to playing. And the thing is with hockey, it is a very difficult sport to return to considering the sport being an 82 game season, plus you have playoffs, plus you have the combination of all practices and all the demands of traveling when you're sitting on a plane for a number of hours, combine that with all the extra events that may be involved with being a professional athlete. And then just, if you look to the specifics of hockey itself as a sport, you have a lot of twisting and bending movements. You're bending over to tie your skates, carrying a hockey bag in an asymmetrical motion where you have it on one side and you're always bent over. All these repeated exposures, through many years, considering Martin Hansel being a six foot six hockey player, so he's a tall hockey player, 
a lot of these things will take a beating on someone like that. And then at the same time, you don't know what his training was like, if it was good, if it was bad, if he was doing the wrong movements maybe when he was younger. I mean, I'm assuming things have gone better considering he's working with a lot of professional trainers and medical staff now, but you never know sometimes. But with that being said, when you consider all those factors, hockey is a very difficult sport to return to specifically at a professional level. Now, with that being said, people have successfully returned and, re and have returned to a high level, most notably Mario Lemieux. Anyways, just wanted to make that video quickly to address that because that's what came out today. I thought it was interesting news to share. And hopefully you guys may have learned something quickly from this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear me cover a certain topic or video, please leave a comment below. And until next time, guys, all the best and have a successful and productive day. Take care.